So I wanted to do a quick demo showing the OP-1 as a MIDI controller running into the iPad. And that's all that's in this setup. I'm using the camera connection kit from Apple. I've got power going in to charge the iPad. I've got the USB uh, connected to the OP-1. And just so the iPad gets charged and not the OP-1, I went into shift com on the OP-1, hit opt, and turn the blue knob to get the little red X. That means the OP-1 won't charge, even if it's getting the power to charge. And then I put it into controller mode, which makes all these knobs and buttons uh, MIDI controllers, which is really handy for playing some software like this. So the first, well, first thing, I hold down a note. The arpeggiator on the Tau Uno is running. So you can turn the arpeggiator off. One note. Turn it on. And I get 16th note repeats. So the first thing I'm going to do is switch to sequence, which I have hooked up, and record a few notes. And I'm using an external Bluetooth keyboard to just switch between apps, which is really handy. I'm going to hit record here and try out some stuff. Okay, I'm going to trim that up really quick, move it around, then I can loop that, and then we'll use that to uh, demonstrate the MIDI controller. Okay, we're back at Tal Uno. I'm going to hit play, so sequence is running the sequence. I'm going to do some MIDI mapping here by tapping MIDI Learn. Pick a control, and then turn the MIDI controller you want. And I find you have to exit this, enter it again. If I tap Resonance, turn another control. Exit, now I have control over the filter. Resonance. And decay is kind of fun to have control over, so I'm going to pick that. Exit. To see what's going on here, I'm going to pause that. I'm going to close Tal and I'm going to open up MIDI Spy. So you can see. When I turn a knob here, I get a MIDI controller. One, two, three, four. And the cool thing is almost every button on the OP-1 is a MIDI controller. So if I hit these buttons, I get controller 11, 12, 13, 14, and it goes all the way across here. So it's a nice compact MIDI controller, so I find it kind of handy. And MIDI Spy is really handy for seeing what's going on when you're hitting notes, up to buttons and finding out the controller numbers. So we can go back to Tau and map some buttons to have some fun. Okay, let's map some buttons to the oscillator switches here. So I'm going to hit MIDI Learn, tap square wave 1, turns it on and off, turn that off, turn that on, Saw wave two, off on. Me learn sub on off. Okay, so one square two saw. These are momentary, so they don't toggle. So this will make it fun. So I'm gonna hold down one, hit play, see what that sounds like. Bring in the saw. Bring in the 
sabe? So there's an example of using the switches. Another cool thing with the OP1 keyboard is you can send pitch control. So if you hit shift and up down, you get pitch bend on the keyboard, which with Tal Uno, we have that. If you pull this down, you can see there's a pitch bend here. And the controller mounts are mapped with this section. So if you're playing, you can do this. Which is very handy. Okay, I think that wraps it up right now. Um, I'll be back with more videos about uh, maybe uh, syncing stuff next. Take care.